We've all had shopping cart amnesia. That's where you go to the shop online, you put all the, all the things that you need into your basket, you get to the checkout and you realize you've forgotten something, but you can't figure out what it is, or even worse. Everything's been delivered, something's not there that you needed. So today I've got a shopping checklist for you, and we're gonna go through it and see how I've arranged my shopping checklist, and you can get the shopping checklist so that you make sure you don't forget any parts when you're building your dream project. Hi, I'm Gordon of Fez of Elkin Guitars, and today I'm gonna to be going through a shopping checklist to make sure you don't forget anything when you're buying parts for your dream project. This is all about the hardware. So to go through the hardware list for any guitar project, I'm gonna use my existing project as a comparison. Right, so the first part I'm gonna need for this build are my tuners. I'm gonna start up at the headstock side. I need six tuners in line and they're gonna be right-handed. So having a look over here, right-handed in black, please, because I want the, the hardware on this guitar to be black. Black, right-handed tuners in line, got it. Right, so my tuners are sorted because I have them here. Six black tuners. If I needed to buy these, I have my supplier and price over there. I can create some comparisons when I'm online shopping at all the guitar um, luthier suppliers. And then what I can do is just put it down the prices, pick out the one that I like. Next thing I need is a nut. I want a locking type nut, because you, as you can see, this is gonna be a full floating tremolo system. I need a black locking nut. Black locking nut. And the screws are in the bag, so I, where I need them. Right, my nut is there. Right, don't need a supply, don't need a price for that one. Truss rod, I've already bought the truss rod, don't worry, it's inside the neck already. It would have been rather unfortunate to build the neck without the truss rod in it, so please don't forget the truss rod. Double action, I've got double action, it's behind my, oh you won't be able to see that, behind my uh, truss rod cover, so I have a truss rod. Truss rod cover is the next item on the list, but as you can plainly see on mine, I already built my own with magnets, because that's the thing to do nowadays, I see. It was an original idea at the time. Next item on my list are the frets. Frets, as you can see, they're already in. I like jumbo frets because I like to play quite hard and my strings need room to vibrate. So the bigger the fret, the higher off the fretboard it is, the more room the strings have to move, the less I'll get buzz. Okay, next thing I need is a set of strings. I can put down some makes and some gauges. Supplier and a price. So I'm gonna go with these, have a little bit of dust from the workshop on them. Strings, check. Next thing I need are some pickups. I do have pickups. Pickups are in here. Pickups I went for on this one, I wasn't looking for anything particularly special. I just wanted one output per pickup and I'll have a three-way toggle switch or a three-way switch. I don't want to put the pickups in yet because it's not time to assemble the guitar yet. Just want to keep them in there to kind of give me an idea of what the final version of the guitar is going to look like. I've got springs in here and I've got screws for mounting them, but I've lost the, the, the pickup rings probably on purpose because I didn't actually want them. What I really wanted was some neoprene to stick behind the pickup to act as the spring because I found that is the, the, the best way to do that. Anyways, pickups. I want a neck position pickup and I want a bridge position pickup. I want the bridge position pickup for some heavy tones, some chugging, palm muting, etc. And I want the neck position for some nice sweet solos. I want humbuckers on both of those because like I said, I do like noise cancelling. And I've got my pickups and check the pickups, done. Next item on the list. Pickup surrounds, I do not want pickup surrounds. 
So I will just say no. Now I need a bridge. Now I, like, I do like my full floating double locking trims systems. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go floating tremolo and I want it in obviously black. I've got it over here. There we go. I've decided to go for an Ibanez uh, double locking tremolo system, second hand off eBay. And they're really good. And people have got this funny superstition about them. And that's how I was able to get one of these really cheap. It's going to look nicer if I put in a pencil eraser. If I just drop a pencil eraser in the back end of the cavity there. And that's how I like to tune them up as well. This particular tremolo system from eBay, really cheap, didn't come with the uh, inserts, the, pin, the post inserts. So I had to buy those se separately. You can see that they've got a bit of dye on it from when I colored the guitar, but they will go in there. And I've got trim posts as well, bought those second hand. This one has got the tape on it because I used that to leverage with a claw hammer and a um, beer mat on the body very, very gently to pull the inserts out when I needed to for clear coat. So other trim parts we need. I've got the bridge. There we go. Tremolo arm. I need a tremolo arm. Tremolo arm in black will go in there just make sure you got it if it comes with the tremolo fine if it doesn't you know you need to order a part so i've got the tremolo arm tremolo claw or aftermarket claw i did have a claw for this tremolo but i decided i wanted an aftermarket claw and so i've gone for the i've gone for the scalar true claw i think that's what it's called i don't recall anyways aftermarket claw got it if i needed them of course i've got the supplier and price section down below next i need some potentiometers 250k ohms is what's normally used on fender type guitars 500k ohm is used on pretty much everybody else uh, ibanez and gibson especially and i'm going to go for a single volume and a single tone 500k i have ticked the box because that's what i want I've got the parts, and so I can check potentiometers. Also need some wire. I do have some wire. I've got a lot of wire. And not only do I have a lot of wire, but it is also shielded wire, although you can't actually see the shielding at this point in time. Get some wire strippers on that, and you can see the shielding. Shielded cable. That will cover me for the little bits in between where I can't cavity shield the guitar itself. On the last couple of guitars I did the electrics, I was really surprised at how quiet they were at the end of it. And uh, I'll be showing you how that works when I get there. So wire, check. Although that is way more wire than anyone would need for a single guitar, but I'm not planning on making a single guitar should I say, just a single guitar. Next item on my list, I need a selector switch. I'm gonna go, like I said, I've got one output on each humbucker, so I'm gonna go through with a three-way selector. Very simple, keep it nice and simple. Three-way selector. And selector switch I have, okay. And that's gonna go over there. Now, capacitors. During this, you can see I haven't done the electrics for this guitar yet. I don't have any capacitors, so I need to find some capacitors. Control knobs. I'm going to go for the bell-shaped knobs in green to go with the guitar. Although I'm not entirely sure this was the right idea. However, I've decided to go for green control knobs, like the selector switch. And there is a space on here for the selector tip, selector switch tip, somewhere on here. I know I put it on here. I used epoxy resin with glow-in-the-dark powder 
to create these beautiful knobs that you can see here. I know they're very unique and probably not to everyone's taste, but is the kind of thing that you can do. That's why you build your own guitars. And so I've got my control knobs. Yes, I've got those. Output jack. I need an output jack for the guitar. I've gone for the barrel screw in type in black. So I want a barrel jack in black, output jack done. There we go. I've got my part. One of the reasons I made the list is because I'm always forgetting to buy parts. One of those parts in this case was the strap, also the capacitors. With the strap, I think I'm going to go for a synthetic, either black or green strap. So I need to buy a strap. And I need some strap pins. And so I have my strap pins. I have my strap pins and I've got the screws for them as well. So strap pins, check. So what I need to do now is I need to go and buy a strap and some capacitors for this particular guitar in order to get it finished. Just circle capacitors and strap. Those are the only two things I need to do. So I'll go into my shopping cart now, go put these items in and I'll be done. I've got everything I need to create this guitar. If you need a hand ordering parts and you'd like a copy of this list, I'm going to put it in the description below. So please go and download the PDF there. Thanks very much for watching. Click subscribe because I'd really like to have some subscribers so that you can see the next video when I enter the Great Guitar Build Off competition and I'll be doing a parts list for my new guitar build. I'll see you then. Thanks very much. Bye.